Are you ready to save and export your iMovie project so that you can upload it to social media or save it to a thumb drive or even email it to somebody? Well, you came to the right place because that's exactly what I'm going to show you here in this video. And not only am I going to show you how to do it on your Mac, but I'm also going to show you how to save and export your iMovie projects from your phone or your iPad. Now there are a couple of really simple mistakes that I want you to watch out for. And I will point those mistakes out to you as we go through through this tutorial. My promise to you is that I won't overcomplicate anything. In fact, this step-by-step -step tutorial is quick and easy and perfect for beginners. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Meredith Marsh and I run this channel for solo content creators and side hustlers who are growing their audience and income online. So if that sounds like you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification so that you don't miss my next videos. We're gonna start with jumping into iMovie here on my MacBook and if you're looking for how to save and export your videos with iPhone or iPad iMovie versions, then uh, I'll put a link down below to the timestamps or you can just fast forward to wherever I put the arrows here on this timeline. So I have this project here that we're ready to export. It's about a six minute long video. And believe it or not, exporting videos inside of iMovie is actually pretty straightforward, but there are some settings that I wanna walk you through. And one big mistake that I see a lot of people making, and that is when they go to share and export, they wanna upload it directly to YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo or even go straight to your email. And let me just tell you, you don't wanna do that. You want to export it as a file first that will save that video file on your hard drive and then you can upload it to the social media that you want to, add it to your thumb drive or send it in an email. So let me show you what I mean here. So under file and then share, this is where you're going to export your video. You're gonna choose file. If you wanna use the button over here on the right hand side, let me just scoot this over so you can see the whole thing. Just hit this share button here and this gives you these options here and you would just choose file. And this is the screen that trips people up the most because you can put in your title here, my movie, you can put in your description, you can put in some tags, but to be honest, those things don't matter. What you do want to do is make sure you select video and audio as your format. Otherwise, if you choose audio only, you're going to export an audio file. You probably don't want that. So the next thing is the resolution. I recommend just exporting it at the highest resolution that you have available. So for me, we see that we have 1080p. That's because this video was shot in 1080. Down here under quality, we have a couple of options here and this really trips people up big time because naturally, we wanna have the best quality video, right? And so a lot of times people come in, you choose best, the ProRes setting, and then you can't email it to anybody because the file size is so big. You don't need to use this best setting. This ProRes quality is not gonna be for you unless you're gonna be broadcasting your video like on a movie screen. Stick with either medium or high quality, even go with low quality, especially if you're planning to email this video. One thing to pay attention to here is the file size, which is over here where it says 686.9, megabytes estimated. So we have an almost seven minute video at almost 700 megabytes, which is pretty much on par with what I would expect if I was exporting a video with a more professional grade video editor. If we move on down to this low quality, that cuts that in half. So if you have been exporting your videos with iMovie and then finding that you have trouble emailing them to somebody, it could be just that the file size is just too big and you can go Go ahead and export at this low quality setting and I promise you it's not going to come out looking low quality. It's just that it's going to have a smaller file size. It's going to be a little bit more compressed, but it's going to be perfect for emailing. And of course, the length of your video is going to determine your file size as well. So for me, if I was exporting a YouTube video, I would just stick with this medium quality here. I don't have any reason to go any higher than that. And for the compression, I would go ahead and choose better quality on that one. And then we're going to hit next. You're going to uh, give a name to this actual file here. So mine is called 
my movie. Hello, it's going to save right to my desktop. That's exactly where I want it so that I can find it easily. I don't want to have to go hunt through my folders to figure out where it is to move it to my thumb drive or email it or upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to hit save and exporting your video will take several minutes. Again, it really depends on the length of your video and on your computer's processing speed and all that kind of good stuff. And up here on the top right, you have this little pie chart here that kind of acts as a, a a clock and it will show you how far it is at actually exporting this video. Now if you did want to upload this to YouTube just wait for your video to be done exporting here on your desktop come to this plus button, this create button, go to upload your video, and then you'll be able to drag and drop this video file right here into YouTube and upload it from there. So you can do the same thing with Facebook, you can do it with Vimeo, you can do it with LinkedIn, wherever it is that you wanna put this video online, you can go ahead and just upload it. Now, if you wanted to move this to a thumb drive or an external hard drive like I have here, you would just, find it under your locations in your menu bar here um, inside of your folders and just literally all you have to do is find the video and move it over wherever it is that you wanted it to go and then you have it on your thumb drive. Now I promised I'd show you what to do if you wanted to email this video to somebody. Now I use Gmail, highly recommend Gmail, it's totally free and easy to use. So all you'd have to do is just Put in the email address and you can write whatever you want to write here in your message but just come way down here to the very bottom and you're going to hit attach file navigate over to your desktop find the video that you want to attach here and we're going to hit open now this is where those file sizes come into play here because this uh, particular video clip that i'm uploading is more than 25 megabytes 20 25 megabytes is not very much for a video, but instead of just attaching it to the email directly, it's going to attach it as a Google Drive link, which is just as good if you ask me. So like I said, it's actually pretty simple to save and export your uh, iMovie project with your Mac, whether you're uploading it to YouTube or saving it to a thumb drive or emailing it. Now, what about your iPhone? What about your iPad? How does that work? Well, it is a little bit different because we're going from a computer to a mobile device. Now over here on my iPhone, I brought in a similar clip. It's just a smaller, a uh, smaller clip here on my phone. So what you see here is the timeline. And when you're done doing the actual editing, you're going to hit done in the upper left hand side. And then down at the very bottom between the play button in the trash can, you're going to find that export or share option. You're going to hit that button and then come down to save video. And this is going to save your video, video file right to your iPhone. So you have these options here for the export size. So you have small at 360, medium at 540. You have high definition at 720 and high definition at 1080. I would choose 1080 for this one. Just be mindful of the fact that if you are planning to email this, you're going to want to watch your file sizes here. Or if you're running out of space on your phone, like I usually am, you're going to maybe run into some issues there. So just keep an eye on your file size. You can upload directly to uh, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or just uh, message somebody. But just like exporting on your MacBook with the uh, desktop version of iMovie, I highly recommend you save it to your actual device just in case something happens. Who knows if the app crashes? or you know if your phone dies while it's exporting you don't really know where it went so save it first and then upload it to social media or email it okay so over here on the ipad so just hit done up in the upper uh, left hand corner and then we're going to hit the share button down here at the very bottom now my ipad is pretty old so the software may be out of date compared to what you're seeing but if you scroll on over here what we want to do is 
is hit this save video option and I'm gonna choose the 720 resolution. Now this video here is not the same one that I just showed you on my Mac and on my phone because I couldn't get it over to my iPad. So my highest resolution available was 720, which is fine. And again, you have these other options here where you could go directly to YouTube or email or open it in something else or even upload it to Instagram, but you're gonna wanna save it to your iPad first and then you'll be able to open it here on your Photos app and then you'll be able to email it or upload it to your social media right from your iPad. Hey, if this video was truly helpful for you, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps other people find it on YouTube. And if you really enjoy learning how to edit your videos like a pro, even if you're a total beginner, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go as well. And I have a whole list of tutorials over here that are perfect for beginners. So I'll let you dive into that next.